Greetings everyone, I'm Stefan and welcome back to our wonderful colony. Coyote has recently been beheaded, Nose has recently gotten a daze, and Stone has recently gotten himself into a romance. We'll see how this goes. And already we got a raid. I'll actually equip the SVD because uh, we don't actually have a lot of ammo for our charge rifle. Oh really, they're gonna dig all the way down there. Uh, you know what? You know what? You can do it. You can do it. Go ahead. Dig through that mountain. And looks like we got strange signals. This means the mechanoids have a chance to show up in the next raids, which is going to be very fun. Uh, although we should be able to deal with them with this charge rifle. Unless, of course, it's a centipede, in which case, uh, I guess we just die. Oh, look at that. They're actually making progress. Nice uh, hole you got there. Would be a shame if uh, someone stuck up on you. These guys just dug themselves into their own grave. I'm straight up just going to seal up this uh, structure. Oh, look at that. We got visitors. Uh, don't mind the corpses on the ground. All right, let's see what they got. A doomsday. Oh, we're taking that. Might have to sell an arm and a leg for that, but that'd be well worth it. All things considered, this actually isn't too much stuff to sell. Doomsday is going to be well worth it. This thing is basically a get out of jail free card. There's uh, some big nasty threat coming up. You can just bomb it and uh, it's just going to disappear. So I'm very much looking forward to that. All right. Let's see, we got another raid, and looks like these guys are fairly well equipped. Oh, look at that! They're also tunneling through. This time they're tunneling through steel, so I'll take that. This guy as well, trying to tunnel through some steel eventually. That's awesome. Oh no guys, I'm so scared! Just don't keep mining! Whatever you do, just don't keep mining! Oh, they're actually mined through. All right, let's send stone to uh, solve the issue. Man down. Uh, thanks for the gun, dude. Really appreciate it. <laughs> the other guy just gave up at this point. Meanwhile, we're going to do the same to this man as we did to the other sappers. Gotta entomb him into a wall. Although, unlike those sappers, this guy actually provided us quite a lot of steel. How nice of him. And we got cargo pods with agave fruit. Alright, we'll take that. Oh, look who decided to show up. The deadly army. A siege with mortars. It's, uh, it's a shame they're within sniping distance. Yeah, for a siege, these guys were really unequipped. Look at that. A woman without a leg, but some pretty fine skills. And another one. Now, this one's probably gonna die, but we at least want to take Olga. And we got Mr. Dead right here. Transhumanist trigger happy jogger. Actually pretty decent overall. We'll capture him as well. Oh, what, what do you mean you just got up? No, 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 no. That's not how it works, buddy. You're getting arrested. I said you're getting... Wow. Alright. I see how it is. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I guess... Igor the Invader just makes everyone not like you over time. I guess that makes sense. At least the Empire is not affected. Ooh, we got gun turrets. Now we can automate some of our defenses. For example, right here. These are pretty expensive, but if we can get like one down, that'll help tremendously. And we got another raid with more sappers. I don't think there's a lot of mountain to go through, so we'll actually deal with this one. Actually, never mind. There's a good chunk of uh, stone they have to go through.
I think eventually we'll just get so many raids that our map will be clear of any obstacles. I'm looking forward to that. Now, since we do have quite a bit of medicine at this point, we could make these prisoners a bit easier to handle. Especially Huntsman, uh, whose resistance is just sky high. Uh, well, actually, pretty much all of these guys' resistance is sky high. What we can do is uh, a bit of war crimes. What we do is uh, we replace the normal legs with peg legs, and then we uninstall the peg legs on the prisoners. When we do that, the prisoner becomes completely immobile, but we can still chat to them. So basically, uh, these prisoners are going to be completely bedridden uh, with stumps for legs until we can get them some better legs. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this procedure. Ooh, infestation. Alright, I mean, of all the places where it could be, this is probably the best one. Uh, so we got three hives and three mega spiders. Not that bad, but I think we still want to deal with this just because uh, if these guys start reproducing, we're going to be in a load of trouble. Plus, once they reach a certain point, uh, infestations tend to just lag the game out completely. Now that our base is relatively stable, uh, we can start going for some more research. First things first, let's get prosthetic legs up and running. Oh, come on, these raids just keep coming. There are melee people as well. Well, pretty much. Honestly, this whole playthrough just kind of feels like, uh... Like invading primitive worlds over and over and over again. These guys just don't stand a chance. Also, it is now April May, which means we can actually start a growing zone going for once. I was gonna start making a psycho plantation, but honestly, the amount of drugs that these raiders bring is keeping Stone just happy. Oh, got a wanderer join. Interesting. Chemical interest, pessimist, nimble. I mean, you don't really have a lot to offer to the colony. Chemical interest competes with stone, pessimist is really bad, and nimble doesn't really do anything. I do like your jumpsuit though, so... Uh, thank you for that. Yeah, we're gonna have to start getting rid of the corpses. Uh, Nose, for example, is getting minus 19 opinion from uh, observing all these bodies around. I mean, I wouldn't blame her. Ooh, bulk destroyer. Probably saw a lot of this junk lying around on the map. All we have to do is uh, say that it's all in our stockpile. Hello there. We have... A bunch of stuff to sell. That's looking pretty good. All I have to do now is delete all these zones. Ooh. The mechs have arrived. We have two transport pods and... Let's see what's inside. A lancer... And a centipede. Oh, that is... That is very much not good. Uh... Hmm. We don't have any rocket launchers. We don't have... Particularly, uh... While penetrating ammo. We can stun the centipede by using EMP shells. And Stone is gonna have to change to his precision rifle. But... This has the potential of getting really hairy, really quickly. Dealing with Lancer shouldn't be all that bad. Yep, Lancer is down. Uh, the main issue is the Centipede. We have to come up close and try to stun it. Uh, to really have a chance of winning against it. We could also use Molotov Cocktails, I suppose. In theory, Molotov Cocktails are really effective against armored targets. Uh, the only issue is... Uh, is that we're risking it all if we try to go for that. So instead, we're gonna make sure these guys can sneak up on the centipede. Now you pop around the corner. Start stunning it. 
Come on. Okay, it's aiming. It's aiming. It's aiming. Just leave. Alright, alright, alright. Shoot it a couple more times. Up, up, up. Reload. Let's see. The centipede is pretty seriously damaged at this point. Alright. Come on. Just a few more shots. Yes! We got it. And, uh, these fuel cells are going to sell for quite a big price on the market. Phew. Uh, that reminds me that, you know, going for prosthetics and making sure our prisoners can have something, that's a bad idea. Let's just go for, uh, let's just go for launchers ASAP. Once we get some M72 laws, uh, we would be able to take out centipedes more reliably. But anyways, that is exactly how you deal with centipedes in combat extended. Uh, we got pretty lucky that the centipede did not have uh, a charge blaster, because that winds up a lot quicker. And uh, it could have easily obliterated Nose and Stone in a single burst. We're still in a very, very bad situation when it comes to dealing with mechanoids. Uh, but at least we could do something about it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.